Hello, friends. Ooh, that's Brett. <laughs> Lighting is real good today. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and I'll leave you the shopping link right here in the comments. This is where you can find all of the makeup we're gonna share. Six my necklace. Pin this here. I have one more palette to give you a tutorial on, so I was really excited to do that today. So I officially have a tutorial on every single palette that is on sale this month, which we are doing a 25% off secret sale. 25% um, off and a free gift if you say secret in the comments and I'll give you the link to it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and send out my text, which if you guys are in my text notification, make sure you join. All you have to do is text Raya Hope to the phone number 866-554-2966. I'll type it out here. You're gonna wanna text Raya Hope to the phone number 866-554. 554-2966. And then that will opt you in to receive the notifications. Share this to my actual Facebook and then we will get started. How's everybody doing? How's everyone Saturday? We had baseball today, which we lost. <laughs> they haven't won one game. It's really sad. <laughs> Just so opened my new palettes. Yay! And you got the new eyeliners. How exciting. All right. Live. Okay. Went ahead and shared away. Pin up some my hair. I think I'm going to do the Beauty Tinted Moisturizer for my coverage today. I love just how lightweight it is, and we're not really doing anything tonight. I think we're going to go out to dinner with our friends, and that's basically it. I'm doing laundry all day today. So, I think I don't need a ton of coverage. And I honestly, I just love the way that this makes your skin look. If you have mature skin or a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, this is going to be your favorite foundation. Um, the reasoning is it has sodium hyaluronate, which is a plumping ingredient, and then it also has a SPF of 30 in it, which is amazing, especially during um, and leading up to summer if you guys are in need of like a good product with SPF. This is it. It's so good. And I can, of course, discount anything on my website for you. Um, I just have to build the bundle myself. So if you want me to build you any kind of bundle um, of products, it could be anything from skincare to tools to foundation to eyes to lips. It really doesn't matter. Anything on my website can be discounted for you. Um, just can't be anything that normally comes in a subscription. So collagen is out. Um, there's a couple other things that are excluded, but for the most part, almost my entire website can be discounted up to 20%. It's two products for 10% off, three products for 15% off, and $165 is the subtotal. And that doesn't, you can add as many to that as you want, and it'll automatically queue a 20% off. Um, and I can do that with anything on my website. But I have to build you the bundle. So the trick is just to email me, or email me, <laughs> sounds so old school, email me, write me a letter. Um, Facebook me, <laughs> Facebook me or write me on Instagram and just tell me what products you want and in what colors and I can build you that bundle. Happily do so for you. But I do also have some other bundles pre-arranged if you don't want to think about it and you just want my like base, go and say Raya's base and I'll private message you that link too. Easy peasy, but look how fast that is. I'm telling you, if you are in need of a super fast, super gorgeous, super flawless, super good for your skin foundation option, this should be it. This again is called the BB Tinted Moisturizer. I'm using it in the shade Light and it is just heavenly. It is a thin enough consistency. It doesn't feel like you have anything on your skin. It doesn't even look like you have anything on your skin. It is so hydrating as well. It feels like moisturizer when you put it on. So it's very hydrating. And then, like I said, has the SPF of 30 in it. And our SPF that's in this is a mineral SPF, not a chemical. So typically when you're allergic to SPF, it's because it's a chemical. This is a, is a mineral. 
but I just love this coverage so much. It's light enough that you can still see your skin underneath and see how it like gives your skin that like glowiness. Yes, please. If you need to know what color you are in this, just say color match and I'll private message you. All right, now what I like to do is I like to go in with a little concealer and just pop this on basically wherever we get like, I don't know, wherever I need a little extra coverage. Like if you have a blemish or a red spot or anything like that where you're like, I just want a little extra coverage here, you just can use this. Yay, awesome, hi Janice. Uh, was at the ballpark, ooh, nice. All day it never skipped a beat. And look fresh when we get home, that's amazing. Don't you love like coverage that does what it's supposed to? There is nothing that I hated more than like doing my makeup and I thought I'd look so good all day and then going out and about and being like, oh, my makeup was like completely gone by the end of the day. This will hold. Um, definitely the brushes count, like the brushes really do matter as far as application goes. And then also what you're doing to prep your skin really, really matters. I always say like baking a cake, like you can't expect to skip half the ingredients and then expect the cake to taste the same. So if you are only using the BB tinted moisturizer, you're not exfoliating your skin, you're not taking care of your skin with moisturizers, you're not using an eye cream, you're not like taking care of your skin and you expect the foundation just be a miracle worker, like we have to do the work too. So for me, for example, I always will do my uh, skincare in the morning. So what that consists of for me, and it can be different for everybody, depending on like what your skin is like or what you struggle with. Like if you have dry skin, you'll obviously change a few things from your routine than mine. Um, I don't have dry skin. I have dry patches, but mostly I'm like combo skin. I have oil patches. I have I have dry patches. It's all really fun. Um, so for me, I wash my face in the morning with the Glowplexion Moisturizer, or sorry, <laughs> Moisturizer. The Glowplexion Cleanser is phenomenal, you guys. Your skin will never feel cleaner. Like it, you can literally feel like how clean your skin is. It's hard to describe. It probably sounds really silly me saying that, but once you use that cleanser, you'll be like, I totally know what you mean. So I use my cleanser from Glowplexion, which is from our line. Uh, in the morning and then I dry my face off I spritz it with rose water and then I put on my eye masks and I wear them for 20 minutes I take those off and those have licorice extract in them so they're super healing for dark circles and they have a ton of peptides and caffeine infused in them so they really de-puff and tighten up your under eyes so I wear those for 15 to 20 minutes and then I take them off and then I put on my eye cream and I wear that and then I do the Glowplexion moisturizer and that's it. And then I'm ready for my pre-makeup routine. And then when it comes time to do that, then I do my setting mist. I spray that all over my face. And then I wait for it to dry, obviously. And then I'll do my my, my um my primer. It depends which primer I reach for as far as like how I want my makeup to look. Like if I want my makeup to look really glowy, I'll use the Illuminizing Face Primer, which is super hydrating and it like glistens on your skin. It makes your skin look super, super hydrated. But if I'm feeling that my skin feels oily or I want like a more mattified or a full coverage look, then I'll use the Mattifying Face Primer, which blurs your fine lines, creases and pores, and it acts as like glue for your makeup. It's really fantastic. So I'll use that and then I spray one more time with my setting mist. And after I've done all of those steps, then I come on live with you guys and we do our makeup. So like I said, it really does matter of those small steps. And I know like saying them all in a row like that can sound daunting, but that's why you have me. Just go ahead and private message me here on Facebook or just say color match and I can private message you and we can set up your own routine. Say you're like, I don't want all that. I can only afford to have these three product or three products in total or a hundred dollars. Like I can help you build a bundle that will help you to achieve your desired look-esque um, according to your budget. So that's why you got me, girl. The brushes are fantastic. So this brush is not from Unique, actually, um, but it is in stock. So definitely grab it because it's been selling out so fast. A concealer brush. I'll give you the link to it. So that's all I have on my skin right now is the BB Tinted Moisturizer and Concealer. Isn't that really impressive? Like every time that I do this combination, it's so, so effortless. Like so good. And I love that it's good for my skin. It's not going to make you... 
uh, break out. It's not going to clog your pores. It is so good. Um, now I'm going in with my contour stick. This is called the Bare You All-in-One Color Stick. This is like the best thing you will ever come across for contouring. It makes your face, your cheeks look so chiseled and so glowy. It is so gorgeous looking. So I put that on like the highest parts of my cheekbones. Basically, I try to follow like a general rule, like where my ears are. That's where I kind of start my line. But the higher up you put it, the more like chiseled your face will look, the more like lifted and thinner your face looks. And then I'm going to take this brush. This is called the Total Package Brush. And look how easy this blends. We're literally just bouncing. Bounce, bounce, bounce. The SPF in the BB Tinted Moisturizer is 30% or 30 SPF. I don't know if it's a percentage. 30 SPF is in it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And what I like about it too is it doesn't, like, I feel like a lot of SPFs out there that have, like, found, like, a foundation SPF always make my skin look blotchy. And whatever they did to this formula doesn't do that to me. I love it. I will always try to be honest with you guys about products and colors and things like that. I'm pretty blunt when it comes to like what I do and don't like. <laughs> and you guys will definitely be able to tell like what I do and don't like. There are some products I don't use just because they don't work for my skin type, um, such as like the setting powder. We have a loose translucent setting powder, but it's really good for dry skin. It's horrible for oily skin. It made my skin look like crap. But makes my skin's my mom's skin look amazing. All right, here is what I've been doing differently and you guys have been noticing. It took me a minute to be like, what am I doing differently to get this result? I felt so silly. Hello, it's this. This is again, the Bare You All In One Color Stick, the same thing I did for my contour, but I switched up the color I've been using. This is the shade Barely Blushing. Technically, this is kind of like a highlight color, but I've been using it as blush and it makes your face, your cheeks look so glowy and like lifted and youthful. I mean, you can already see it. <clears throat> Excuse me, see it. It's really, really great. Um, I did actually just find out last night though, or yesterday, that peony pink, which is the color that a lot of us really love for our blush in this product, just restocked. So if you didn't Grab it your yet or even waiting for it. It did restock so you can snag it. For setting powder, it kind of depends on uh, what your skin type is. If you have oily skin, say oily skin setting powder. I'll give you the link to the one I use. If you have dry skin, say dry skin setting powder. I'll give you the link to a different one. You've been using it and loving it? Me too. All right, before you do, do go in with a setting powder, always make sure that like your lines are pressed down and like vanished. All right, let me grab my setting mist. If you have very dry skin, the um, the unique setting powder would be better for you. It's called the Prime to Set Powder. And then if you have oily skin, you'll wanna use a oily skin setting powder, which this one that I'm using is one of my favorites too. I kind of rotate between a couple of them that I really like. But so if you if you're normal skin, you can kind of play around with whatever setting powder you want. I personally would probably do the unique one just because it is really hydrating and good for your skin. The ones that I'm using, I don't know what the ingredients are, to be totally honest. So I don't know if this is really healthy um, for your skin, which I love that Unique's line has skincare infused in it. So if we had a setting powder that's good for oily skin, that's what I would be using. But we don't. But it's I. Oily skin setting. Perfect. I'll send you the link. The blush that I've used so far is the uh, Bare You All in One Color Stick in the shade Barely Blushing. Yes, Peony Pink is back. Just restocked, I believe, yesterday. All right, now I'm going to go with the pressed powder. So if you do have normal skin, honestly, all skin, dry skin, oily skin, normal skin, Using a pressed powder is so crucial for everybody. And the reason is this powder will literally just like suck everything to your face. Like it's going to go. It looks so fantastic on. 
It really, really does a lot with making your complexion look even and helping everything to hold tight throughout the day. And it just makes your skin look like a porcelain doll. This pressed powder in particular has shea butter and vitamin E infused in it. So it's really hydrating and silky soft. So a lot of people think like, oh, I can't use a setting powder because I have dry skin. You can use that one. It is so good. Now we're going to use a little bit of bronzer. I love going over my cream contour with a little bronzing. The difference between the two are kind of more undertones, but... I love just adding a little bit more and then I like doing my contour around my jawline with powder rather than cream. I don't know why, but I just do. All right, and then we're just gonna chisel out our jawline and then down the sides of our nose a little bit, underneath our lip. Wherever you put a contour recedes, wherever you put something like a highlight pops forward. I can't remember if I contoured my forehead, but I'm like, I feel like I'm adding a lot. I have my hat line still. You can ignore that. Guess I wore the hat a little too tight this morning. Okay. Now we're gonna go with some blush. Um, no, everyone's like skin type is different. If you don't need to set it, that's wonderful. I definitely need to set it because I would look like an oil bucket if I didn't. Um, but no, you can absolutely try it out that way. All right. So I added a little bit of blush in the shade Sisterly. Both my bronzer and my blush are 50% off right now. So if you haven't yet, I would absolutely grab them. They're so pretty and so easy to use and they're 50% off. And you don't need to bundle them or anything. You can literally just purchase just those. And then what I'm doing now is using a, this one is called the Angled Fan Brush. This is also 50% off right now. And I'm using this product, which is called the Fusion Highlight in the shade Golden. And I'm putting this on wherever I want to look glowy or pop forward. So Cupid's bow, inner corner, highest parts of the cheekbone, bridge of the nose, like... This makes you look like an angel. <laughs> it is so pretty. And it's easy. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I've felt this sneeze coming on this entire life. I'm like, just do it already. Excuse me. Okay. Now let's do some eyes. I love the, re the reassurance of powder, bronzer, and blush over creams. Maybe that's what it is. I am the same exact way. I feel like when I set my creams with powders, I just really feel like I can touch my skin. I feel like if I hug someone, my makeup's not going to smear all over them. Like, I just feel like it does, like, just like you said, Reagan, like, it just gives you that, like, reassurance. I don't know. I completely agree with you. And I love that all of our powders have these really healthy ingredients in them. So they don't make your skin look super dry. Okay, let's do our eyebrows. Thanks, guys. Yeah, louder milk is really funny. Definitely not kid appropriate. <laughs> I'm kicking myself. Okay, I don't know if I said this to you guys. So we end up meeting the actor. His name's Ron Livingston. He stars in and writes the show Louder Milk on Netflix. He's the actor that was Burger in in Sex and the City. He was in Band of Brothers. He was the main actor in Office Space. This guy. Anyway, Ryan and I met him when we were in Hawaii, and I started like looking him up after we like said hello to him and was like leaving because I wanted to tell my mom, but I knew she wasn't going to know who he was. So I was looking up like what she would know, and I found out he and his wife were the writers of my all-time favorite show. Like, I watched this show, this makes me feel so old, on DVDs that I rented from Blockbuster. <laughs> Tell me you're not old without telling me you're old. Um, and it was only around for like two or three seasons. I don't even think it ever made it to TV. I don't even know, like, how it worked back then. But they... It got canceled or whatever. And this show, you guys, is so entertaining. It's about this woman who has... So the, the name of the show is U.S. of Tara. Like her name is Tara, T-E-R-R-A or something like that. U.S., like United States, United States of Tara. And it's, have anyone seen... Has anyone seen it? It is my all-time favorite series I've ever watched, ever. 
And it was only around for like two or three seasons. Anyway, him and his wife wrote it and I'm kicking myself I didn't know that when I met him because I so badly would have been like, please bring it back because that actress is still around. All of the actors that are in that are still around. Um, it is so good. You could probably find it on Prime if you want to watch it. Like I said, it leaves you on a total freaking cliffhanger because they didn't finish it. They didn't get picked up or they got canceled or whatever. They never finished the show. But it's about this lady, this woman, has uh, split personalities. So she has like all of these different personalities. There's like one personality that's called Buck and it's like a man and he like likes to fish and work on cars. So when she turns into Buck, like her husband's like, hey, what's up? And they like drink beer in the driveway. And then she has one personality that's called T and she's like, pardon my French, she's like a slutty little teenager. And she's always trying to like get tattoos and like sneak alcohol like she's naughty. And then there's like another personality called Alice and she's a 50s housewife. But anyway, she like turns into these different personalities throughout the show. And like she has, the character has kids and uh, a husband. The husband is the actor that plays Aiden in Sex and the City. Um, but anyway, and the sister lives with them to like help. Because when she changes into some of these personalities, like the tea girl, like she needs to be watched. <laughs> like she needs to be made sure like she's okay. But, and then the whole point of the show is to figure out like what triggered like her splitting, like something traumatic and horrible happened to her to like split her personality into like this protective whatever. And, um, you know, we never find out, I'm like ruining it for you. We never find out what it was because the show got canceled. But anyway, he was the writer of it. And I am so upset with myself that I didn't know this when I met him. Cause like, I could have asked him like, what did it? <laughs> Cause like they write it, they know, they know where the show's going to go, you know? Anyway. I don't even know how that tangent came came about. Sometimes I feel like I get on the ta these tangents and if someone's new to one of my tutorials, they're gonna be watching this and be like, what is this girl talking about? I thought this was a makeup tutorial. It was one of my favorites too. It was canceled because of the ratings. The show Weeds was getting more views. I see that, but still, oh, it was so good. So that wasn't a brow serum, that was just a, it was a tinted brow gel and has fibers in it. Um, say brow gel, I'll give you the link to it. But those, that product, the brow gel and that um, brow pencil are like chef's kiss. So, so good. You rented VHSs from Blockbuster? Me too, girl. I'm pretty sure those came on VHSs. Or no, maybe they were DVDs. When I was a kid, we were... Um, not the most well off <laughs> by any means. And we didn't have cable. I didn't have cable until I was probably in my twenties. Um, and so every Sunday, my dad and mom would take, I have three siblings. I have two brothers and a sister. Um, they would take us to Blockbuster and we each got to pick one, which is a big deal. <laughs> We each got to pick our own show, or maybe it was like girls got to pick one and boys got to pick one, because I don't feel like we left with four movies or shows. And that's a, and we would literally watch these two or four, however many movies for a week. <laughs> Kids will never know, you know? <laughs> They'll never know the struggle. It wasn't even a struggle then. I thought we were pampered. <laughs> The show was called U.S. of Terra, if you want to watch it. I'm sure you can find it on Prime. All right, I did the lip liner in the shade Patience, and we're going to do that lip stain, like, lip tint that I've been doing the last couple days um, because they just launched a new color. It's the shade Photogenic, which, to be honest, has been my favorite so far that they've launched. But what the trick is when... Um, when you do your lip liner for the lip stains, do your lip liner a little bit on the lighter side, like a lighter hand. So when you're doing that, it won't like cling to the lip stain. And when you're doing the darker colors, which today we're gonna use the shade Friendly, when you're doing the darker colors, move kind of like in a fluid direction, like this. 
And again, light hands. And the reason is these lip stains are wonderful. They really do work very well as a stain, but they cling is one negative part about them. Like I said, always honest with you guys. There are only three colors that I'll wear in these lip stains. Actually, I lied, four colors. There's a red, and it is a hot red. It is stunning. If you ever need a red lip, there is a lip stain that is red, and it is so good. And it definitely makes your, your lips like cherry red and last all day long. It is so, so good. Um, and then there's the color that I wore yesterday, which is the shade Delighted. It's a really like, it's kind of like a nude is what they like to call it, but I don't even, I wore it yesterday if you want to see what it really looks like on. And then this is the color Friendly. This is kind of like a brown, but when you do it thin like this, and see, I'm kind of like pressing my lips, like blend it out ever so gently. It gives you this like, very pretty, like ombre, I don't know, purpley brown. It's very pretty. But I will say about these lip stains, for whatever reason, the formula of these makes your lips so plump looking. Like, I don't know what it does, but it like makes your lips look so juicy. So I do really like that about them. There's only one color I don't like, and it's uh, the shade Poetic. It's like black. I don't know what they're thinking of that color. <laughs> I'm like, no thanks. Um, but all the other colors are really pretty. But I would say the red of the lip stain is probably my favorite. And then the new one they just launched, which is the shade uh, Photogenic, is probably my other favorite. But it's super pretty. And I like to put them on in a very, very thin layer. And then just leave them because they'll kind of like lighten a little. You can even kind of like blot your lips if you want. Oh, look so good makes your lips look juicy all right we're gonna do the last palette today i forgot to get out my brushes so uno momento what are some of your guys's favorite shows that you've ever watched is there like a show out there that you were like oh my gosh this show is the best show i've ever seen and if any we know suits we know <laughs> i feel like everyone's obsessed with that show my in-laws are obsessed with that show. Um, right now we're watching on Apple TV, if you have that. We are watching Manhunt right now. It's really, really good. It's about the assassination of Lincoln. And it, from what I've read, they try to stay to like the, the truth, which is cool. Um, and then we also started... Um, your husbands would like this, or if you like golf... Uh, Ryan got, I'm actually into it. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I'll ever watch golf. Like Ryan is like, oh, you like this? Now we can watch golf. I'm like, nice try. No, <laughs> I like this show. That's all. Um, it's called Full Swing on Netflix. If you like golf, make sure your husbands watch it. If you love golf, if your husbands love golf, they'll love this show. There's only two seasons, I think. We're watching that also. And then we're watching, um... Also on Apple TV, it's called something Royal Palm, I think. The name of the Lincoln one is called Manhunt, and it's on Apple TV. It is 4.40 here. Wow, it's 4 o'clock. Oh my gosh. I'm on late. <laughs> They're going to do a Happy Gilmore too. Oh my gosh, how fun. All right, so I'm going to take the warm palette and I'm going to take this lighter brown color. As you saw, I kind of like tapped a lot of that off. This color is really pretty and really pigmented and it is stunning for wearing as like all over or just in the crease. I've used this palette quite a few times. It's one of my favorites um, as far as like putting this on daily. It's really, really pretty. Awesome. Thank you guys for sharing your guys' must-watch shows. I'll have to go back through and make sure I've seen them all. I did watch The 100 a long time ago, probably like when it first started coming out. 
got a little weird there. <laughs> I don't think I finished that one. All right, so we're gonna take this brown and we're just gonna work this into that crease and onto the eyelid. Yes, Jenny and Georgia, I really like that one too. Oh, I haven't heard of those, Doc Martin. I haven't heard of that. I don't know if I have Acorn. Movie Security on Netflix is really good. Okay, cool. I don't have Peacock. I'm so bummed because there's that show on there that everybody's talking about and we don't have Peacock and Ryan's forbidden me from getting any more subscriptions. <laughs> we have everything but that. I'm like, really? So unfortunate. Gilmore Girls is actually one of my favorite shows ever. It's like a comfort show. We watched that growing up, me and my mom. I tried so hard. It's funny that this got brought up because I was literally telling this to Ryan last night that I still think about how I wanted to name Royce Rory. And every time I hear the name Rory, I'm like sad a little <laughs> that we didn't. She's definitely a Royce, but I pushed for Rory so hard. Ooh, I loved Emily in Paris. I can't wait for the next one. All right, now I'm just taking the liner shader brush and grabbing that same lighter brown and then dragging this underneath the eye. So these palettes, they just launched two new ones that I've done tutorials with. If you missed it, definitely watch the replay on it. Uh, but this is the warm palette. Yesterday we used the cool palette and then they launched two more, which is the rose palette and the peach palette. And they're all so pretty. I honestly, I don't know if I could pick a favorite. I feel like this one that I'm using is the easiest to wear just because it's browns and a gold. So I feel like it's very simple to put on and know that it's going to like look good and not feel like, oh, can I, can I get away with these colors? Uh, everyone can get away with neutrals. All right, now we're going to take that darker and like press this in and then press this on the outer corner. I never watched How to Get Away with Murder. Maybe I should give that one a try. The lip stains can like grab onto dry skin on your lips. I'm not going to lie. Yes, the answer is. Do they make your lips feel dry? No. I feel like they make your lips feel really hydrated. Like, I don't know, it's hard to describe. But if you do have like a lot of dryness on your lips, I would use the uh, Sugar Scrub by Unique before putting them on. All right, so we're just gonna work that darker color in the outer corner. And press, press, press. Yeah, when um, that show came on, I was really into Scandal. So I didn't really ever watch that because it came on after Scandal and my kids were little and I, I can only stay up for so long back then. Time flies. Okay, working that darker color in which these palettes, like I was telling you guys, are on sale right now. And I can actually give you them at a bigger discount. Um, I can give you 25% off and a free gift. All you have to do is say secret and I will give you that link. But you get to choose between any eyes and any lips for those four items, which is really cool. All right, so now my favorite part, I'm actually gonna use my finger and I'm gonna grab the foiled gold. This is like so, so pretty. It makes your blue eyes look so insanely blue, if you have blue eyes. The peach palette is stunning. You are going to be like gawking at yourself. It is so pretty. This palette is called the warm palette. Yesterday I used the cool palette. If I had to say one to use every single day, I'd probably do the warm palette just because it's the easiest to wear. Like it goes with everything. It's very simple to put on. But the prettiest palette, I would want to say is the rose palette. I feel like that one palette, like I got a ton of compliments on in person and online. <laughs> you guys are funny. I feel the same way about Tracker. I haven't watched it though. It did look really cute. 
All right, now I'm gonna take the cream shadow brush and I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this and just make sure that the, like the inner corner got, got, got. Same thing on this side. And then make sure, see I'm kind of like pressing this on, just like that. And then swish, swish, swish. Tracker looks cute. The show. <laughs> Aw, that's so nice, Sheila. Thank you. This palette is so pretty. After I'm finished, I'll move you guys so you guys can get a better look towards the light because these eyeshadows just look so stunning on your eyes. So in combination to the new eyeshadow palettes and the new lip stain that we got uh, this month, they also launched two new um, liquid liners, a teal and a blue, which if that is your jam, you are going to love them. They're this like material of this like fine tip. So very easy to use. And like I said, I can give you 25% off of any eyes, any lips, plus a free gift. All you have to do is say secret in the comments and I can private message you that link. It's really cool too because you don't even have to log in or check in or anything. You can literally just pick your four items, pick your free gift, and then you check out. Now, we're going to set our makeup to make sure everything stays in place all day. <laughs> I laugh because all day it's like 5 o'clock. <laughs> but stay in place for dinner. All right, and then we're going to do our mascara. But this palette, you guys, is so pretty. So I've officially done a tutorial for every single palette that we have. So of these mini palettes. So... No matter which one you get, there's a tutorial for you to watch to teach you how to use it. So I always try to be as thorough of what, like, what colors go where. But each of these palettes is really cool, too, because you can use them different ways and you can use them together, too, which is what I'm going to start doing after today. Since I've done each palette by itself, moving forward for the rest of the month, I'm going to start mixing together these palettes to show you how they work together as well. Which I'm excited for because I got some ideas of what I want to do. Very easy to do, yes. Yay, awesome. Honestly, like the to do a wing, I would say using the uh liquid liner from Unique is the easiest thing. Not the one I used today, but we have another one that's angled. I feel like that one's super, super easy. And something that I've learned about a wing liner is that after you put on your mascara, especially when you're using Quadra, which is this one, it doesn't matter. Like it does not matter if you got a little crazy or if it doesn't match perfectly or if they're not the same length, like it really does not really matter. You can't really tell. By any means, you can't really tell. And the more you do it, the better you're going to get. I told you guys like six months ago or maybe more now that I was going to keep doing it until I wasn't nervous about it anymore. And I can almost confidently say I don't get nervous about it anymore. Which is pretty crazy because I went from won't even attempt it to feeling like, okay, I feel like I can do this isk-esque. I still feel like I have a lot of work I can do on them, like learning wise and getting better, but you're not going to get better unless you actually practice. Like we tell our son with sports, same goes for your makeup. If you feel like you quote unquote suck at makeup, that just means you need to do it more. It used to take me over an hour and a half to do my makeup, you guys. 
an hour and a half. Can you even, I like, I can't believe I had that kind of patience, but you know, I can confidently do my makeup in like <laughs> five minutes. Isn't that crazy? Practice, 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 practice. And also is really helpful to one, have these tutorials that you can come back and watch and like recreate with me. And if you have questions, you can come and ask your questions here while I'm live and I can help answer your questions too. You can always message me and ask me your questions if you need anything. And it's always really helpful when the products are made to go like hand in hand. These products are made to be like to work together. So that's always, that's also really, really helpful. So if you haven't grabbed any of these products yet, go ahead and say color match and I can private message you and help you get your makeup personalized to make sure that you're using the right products and the right colors. And that way that you can slowly start building your makeup collection which I definitely didn't buy a bunch of things at once. The first thing I bought was a lip liner. Like I started off slow too. So don't feel like that you have to save or like, I can't, you know, buy everything at once. Getting one thing at a time is fine too. But let me know if I could be of any help to you guys in picking out your colors. Just say color match down below and I can private message you. And let me move you guys so you can see how you this looks in the better lighting. See the eyes? Like so pretty. It's like that gold really just like pops. See how it like reflects off the light? It's so pretty. So this was the warm palette. I did the peach palette a couple days ago, which if you go to my page, Raya Hope, um, I have it listed there. I linked my hoodie in the beginning of this, this tutorial, but I'll go ahead and link it again. If it's still in stock, it was like from Forever 21. Um, but absolutely love this palette i feel like it's definitely the easiest to use goes with everything and the lip stains are also included in the sale all things eyes all things lips are included but go ahead and say color match down below if you need help picking out your shades um and then say secret sale if you want to save 25 percent off anything for eyes and lips and to get a free gift so i love you guys have a wonderful saturday see you tomorrow bye